Jet Junction, I suggest you go west. It will be worth it. I don't know. Well, for the last time we followed one of your suggestions, the animals fell off a bridge. So I think we're going to go east. Oh, guys. Look way back on that hill. Do you see the uh, cheetah prowling? The top of the hill to the left. Here in Harambe, we call them Duma, but no matter what language you say their name in, they're still the world's fastest land animal, running 60 to 70 miles an hour. Now, there are three things a cheetah cannot do that all other big cats can. Do you know what they are? They cannot retract their claws, good. They cannot roar, and they cannot climb trees. But being the uh, big cat that can't roar, it is the biggest cat that can purr. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, okay. If you guys are wondering why we're going so oh, what does this kind of remind kind of remind you of? Pride Rock. Pride Rock. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's a farm cue. Wow. Now lions rest 18 to 20 hours a day. They become active at night when the females go out to hunt. Now, uh, Pride Rock and this rock formation here, they're called Kopis, K-O-P-J-E-S, and it's either Afrikaans or Swahili, I can't remember, for uh, any of these rock formations that are formed by erosion from granite over the years. Now guys, there are some white rhinos over here on the right, in between the bushes back there. Do you see them? A uh, white rhino gets its name from the Afrikaans word bite, which means wide or broad, like the shape of his jaw. Look at the baby! Yeah. A baby white rhino. And there's mama. Now, way back there, we have some scimitar horned oryx. Scimitar horned oryx are an endangered species. They're, uh... Hey, guys, did you hear that? The lion just roared. You got a lioness beside him, too. Did you see her up here on the rocks? Well, looking right at us. We should get on the move. Like I say about the scimitar, they're uh, hunted for those 42 inch long horns of theirs that look kind of like the Arabian curved sword of the scimitar, which is where they get their name from. These are warthog burrows. Warthogs are the world's largest burrow again. I only see a bunch of them laying down back there by the bamboo. I don't know if you can see that one tusk curled up back there. Warthog are the world's largest burrowing animal. Pumba is actually Swahili for dirty or dusty, which is appropriate for the warthog because, you know, they roll around in the mud all the time. To cool down. Now these are more scimitar horned dwarfs right here. And up at the top of the hill over there are some Bontabok. Bontabok aren't quite as social as elephants. They leave their mothers at about a year old. Uh, scimitar horned dwarfs, the Bontabok and the white rhino are all endangered animals. And the white rhino is our biggest success story since it was brought into reserves, almost extinct. Been able to rebuild them, rehabilitate them to a stable population and reintroduce them into the wild, which is our hope for all of these animals. These are Grand Seaver. They have stripes and every bit as unique them as our fingerprints already was. And there's the world's largest bird running about 40 miles an hour. There are fortunes in the area. Can you help us cut them off? Well, what do you guys say? You want to help Wilson sell the poachers? Yeah. All right, Wilson, we're on our way. Oh, this doesn't look good. Unsafe area. Everybody hang on tight, things might get really rough out here. The coaches are heading east. Keep going, and you drive them to my patrol. Hold on. Way ahead of you, Wilson. We're heading east now.
Lord wills this over too late. The poachers already abandoned their camp. Oh, not to worry. You drop them right into my patrol. The poachers ran, but they won't get far. We located the mother and the crowd. Thanks to you, they are now both safe. Asante Sana, everyone. Our word is glad we can help, right, folks? Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Uh, that's the important Woo. thing. Did you like? Did you see all the animals you want to see out there? Yeah. Well, here in Harambe, we don't like to say goodbye. We much rather say Quaherini. Quaherini is Swahili for for go well. So Quaherini, folks. Yeah. And we'd love to see you guys back here. Now, what we hate to see you do is chase after the truck because you left something behind. So, uh, do check those net bags. Remember, I won't be back for another two weeks, so you really don't want to leave anything on board. And uh, watch your hands and feet on the right-hand side. The ward's going to slide open those doors. I don't want you getting pinched. Yeah, that means you and the green polo. I know how squished in you guys here. Thank you. 